How are you, my friends? This uh, video is presenting six old exams questions related to the inverse trigonometric functions from pre-calculus course, lecture number 19. Question number one is really nice. We have to find the exact value of sine inverse minus square root of two over two all squared plus cosine inverse minus square root of two divided by two all squared divided by cosine inverse of cosine three. Let's see. The sine inverse here, you have to remember the condition for the sine inverse. The domain will be minus one to one, so that's okay there, minus square root of two over two. And then the range of the sine inverse minus pi over two to pi over two, which is quadrant one, or four. So that's why since this is negative, we go to quadrant four. So this answer here is minus pi over four. Now let's see the cosine inverse of minus square root of two over two. Now the cosine inverse, the range will be from zero to pi, which is quadrant one or two. So we have to look in quadrant two because the cosine here is minus. So the reference will be pi over four. So pi minus pi over four will be three pi over four. That's the answer for this cosine inverse. Now you can use cancellation property for the cosine, you know, cosine inverse cosine of x is equal to x for the denominator here, but x should be between zero and pi. Now we check, it's three, the angle three, between zero and pi, yes pi 3.14 radians and this is angle 3 between 0 and pi. So directly in the denominator we say cosine inverse cosine of 3 is equal to 3. And we have this answer there minus pi over 4 and this is 3 pi over 4. So what do I do? I square the first angle which is minus pi over 4. I square the second angle 3 pi over 4 square it and then when you add, you get 10 pi squared over 16 divided by 3. 3 means 3 over 1. I multiply the first fraction, divide here by 2, divide by 2, 5 pi squared over 8. And this is multiplied by the reciprocal. So the final answer, 5 pi squared over 24. Let's evaluate the expression cosine inverse cosine 6 pi over 7 minus sine inverse sine 6 pi over 7. Now for sure here we have some kind of cancellation properties if we can. So let's see the first one. 6 pi over 7, the angle 6 pi over 7 lies in quadrant 2. It's somewhere here. See this is angle 0 and the complete pi is here, straight angle, that's pi. And then 6 pi over 7. 6 over 7 like 0 0.8, less than 1. So this is 6 pi over 7. If you divide the pi into 7, take 6 of them. So the angle is there. This is 6 pi over 7. It's in quadrant 2. Now cosine inverse, you know the formula here. Cosine inverse, cosine of x is equal to x. But x should be between 0 and pi. Yes, 6 pi over 7 is between 0 and pi. So the first answer here, 6 pi over 7. Now this one is not the same, you see directly? Sine inverse, sine 6 pi over 7. The same angle, not equal to 6 pi over 7. Let's see the next slide to see the answer. So here in the sine inverse, we cannot use cancellation property because 6 pi over 7 does not belong to the range of the sine inverse. So what can we do? Six pi, six pi over seven in, in quadrant two, we have to find the reference, which is pi minus six pi over seven, which is pi over seven. Now, sine six pi over seven inside the bracket here will be plus, see, because the reference in quadrant one, so it will be plus. Sine the reference pi over seven. So instead of sine six pi over seven, I write sine C6 pi over 7, I write sine pi over 7 with the plus there. 
So now this one, I can use cancellation property, sine inverse sine pi over seven will be pi over seven. So the first answer for the cosine inverse cosine six pi over seven will be six pi over seven minus pi over seven, which is five pi over seven. Let's find the domain and range of this function, y equals minus cosine inverse two minus x minus pi over two. Remember this is cosine inverse. Let me show you an easy way. So the basic cosine inverse, y equals cosine inverse of x. See the argument here is x. And in our question, it's two minus x. It can be anything. So the domain of the cosine inverse minus one to one. So what can I take? I take the argument here, two minus x, whatever the argument is there, five minus half x, x squared minus one, Take the argument here between minus one and one, always for the cosine inverse and the sine inverse. So two minus x between minus one and one, let's uh, subtract here. See minus two, minus two, minus two. This becomes minus three, this is minus x, less than minus one. Now let's divide all the sides here by minus one and change the signs. You have to change the signs. So this is three greater than or equal x, greater than or equal to one, rewrite it, x greater than one, still x greater than one, less than three. So now the domain of our function here, one to three. Let's find the range on the next slide. We do the same thing, the range for the cosine inverse, the basic zero to pi. So I take here cosine inverse, whatever the argument here, I don't look at the argument now. I look at cosine inverse, whatever the argument between zero and pi from the basic cosine inverse. Then I have to reach our function. So I have to multiply by this minus, maybe there is minus two, there is half maybe, and then I subtract at the end minus pi over two. So let's multiply with minus. So this becomes zero, we change the sign here, and there is a minus outside. We change the sign greater than minus pi. Now what do I have to do? I need minus pi over two in the middle. So I add here, minus pi over two, minus pi over two, minus pi over two, in every side. Now look in the middle here, minus cosine inverse of any argument, minus pi over two, this is the function y here. So I can put y or f of x. Zero minus pi over two will be minus pi over two, and this one will be minus three pi over two. So let's rewrite it. So this one greater than, see greater than here, also y greater than there. Minus three pi over two, less than minus pi over two. So this is the new range for the given function closed minus three pi over two to minus pi over two let's find the value of tan sine inverse half plus cosine arc tan square root of 22 over three good question now if we look at the solution of question number four we see that the first angle is special angle and the second one is not a special so let's see how do we deal with that Sine inverse of half, we know this is pi over six. Tan pi over six will be square root of three over three, which is tan 30 degrees, that's easy. Now the second one, this is not a special angle, not special numbers. So we can say let theta equals arc tan, everything inside the bracket here, arc tan square root of 22 over three. Take theta tan on, the other, on both sides, tan of theta would be tan, arc tan of square root of 22 over three. So tan theta will be by cancellation property, square root of 22 over square root of three, y over x, then we can find r, x squared plus y squared, so r will be five. So cosine of the theta will be square root of three, which is x over r, square root of three divided by five. So this is what we need, cosine of theta. Let's add here, the LCD is 15, Multiply here by five, multiply by three. So the final answer will be eight square root of three divided by 
15. All the exam question number five, find the value of this tan inverse of tan pi over four plus tan inverse of tan five pi over six over this value. Now the first one we can use cancellation property because tan inverse tan of x is equal to x if x between minus pi over two to pi over two open. So we can use here cancellation property pi over four. This one we cannot use cancellation property because five pi over six does not belong to minus pi over two to pi over two. So we find the value of the inside here, inside the bracket, tan five pi over six. That will be in quadrant two. So it will be minus one over square root of three by finding the reference. Now we have tan inverse, tan five pi over six will be tan inverse of minus one over square root of three also, we have to go to the same condition here, and the angle of tan inverse will be in quadrant four minus pi over six. Now let's use the answers found in the previous slide, all these three terms there. So let's go to the expression. We need this big expression. The first one is pi over four minus pi over six divided by square root of two times all this value here, which is minus square root of two over two. Multiply that by square root of two, you will get minus one. Now in the numerator here, we have the LCD 12. So we multiply up and down by three there. Here up and down by two, we get three pi minus two pi over 12. Multiply by minus one or divided by minus one, which is the same because the reciprocal is also minus one. So the final answer will be minus pi over 12. Question number six, find the value of tan, tan inverse of minus square root of seven, tan arc tan of 25 plus tan, tan inverse of minus square root of 25. This is easy question because we can apply cancellation properties. We know tan, tan inverse of X is equal to X if X belongs to R, any real number. So we can use by cancellation property this one here. The first one will be minus square root of seven and this one will be 25 and this one will be minus five because minus square root of 25 is five. So that will be minus five exactly. So I can put here minus seven, 25 minus five. So that would be 20. So the final answer is minus square root of seven divided by 20. Now these are the answers. For other examples, please, and the rules and the cancellation properties, you can see the video on pre-calculus course, lecture number 19, inverse trigonometric functions. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can subscribe and share it with your friends. I wish I can see you in another video with another topic. Thank you for listening.